Hey, I'm Kev. Yeah, let's go. Welcome back to SRX. The game as we are in the SRX Championship. We've reached the top tier and we've had a fantastic beginning for the season. Winning the first two races, but we have tried to turn up the Devil T2 Expert. And now, our bogey track in Eldora. Will fortunes change? Let's find out. Because we are in 8 1. And in this time, we're starting second. That hasn't changed all. Dark at all has got speed. Maybe we do still get guest drivers then. And through into the lead is the multiple time Rally Cross champion. See, when I said the last time about Matt Marco Andretti, like, oh, maybe IndyCar wasn't his series. Just look at Scott Speed's career. Like, he came up through single seaters, was meant to be America's next big F1 driver. Red Bull backed until he got. Back from Toro Rosso. Went to NASCAR as well with Red Bull. And then the team folded. Like, Red Bull pulled out. But then after that, he went to Global Rallycross. And started winning. Winning titles. Races, titles. It's the likes of Tanner Faust and Ken Block. And yeah, he won the American Rally, America's Rally Course Championship. Even though it only ran for two seasons, he won the first one as well. A couple of years back. Like, he found his home in Rally Cross after coming up as a single seater driver. Like, that shows that, again, single seaters wasn't maybe Scott Speed thing. He just needed to try something else, something different. And hey, he found it on the dirt and ovals and tarmac. And some oval tracks as well. Like they went, they went to the Rucas Oil Race, so which we're going to next as well. I remember right, Global Rally Cross. Even though I was never the biggest fan of Global Rally Cross, I hated how I hated how like kind of manufactured it felt compared to like World Rally Cross. But then World Rally Cross is now doing the same thing with going to like permanent circuits and manufacturing tracks there now as well for the likes of Spa, Nürburgring, Spain, Abu Dhabi a number of circuits uh, so we're not lifting at all we're just riding the high line here not lifting oh we're hitting the limiter so yeah Eldora seems to be eased just by a country mile on the SRA it's like we've turned the difficulty up this is at the end of last episode and look at this we've taken the lead from speed and we're clinging on it seems like but we're actually going very comfortably we're kind of riding high in the corners up against the cushion using that to kind of rotate the car a bit as well we're getting a drive of the corner so they can never pass us really it's so much easier than late models or stayed in trucks or the sprint throw fives round here as we've got three laps remaining, I believe. Three or four. Because I'm not exactly pulling away, are we? Like, if it was, like, still hard difficulty, we'd probably be, like, half a lap ahead of, like, last. Or, like, fifth. Whoever the mid-pack. But we're only, what, a couple of seconds up the road, aren't we? We're a bit wide there. I need to lift here just so we can tap these... Oh, that's for 16 seconds and we did a 15 8. It's going to be close. Might did this tactical lift going in through the corners then. Just to be. Just to be over 16 seconds. Let's see. Did we time it right? We did. There we go. So we got one that remaining. So we can even lift properly in these cars round here. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they've got that extra, like, boost grip or, like, you saw they dive to the inside quite a lot. In the other three series round. We don't really see that round here in the SRX. As it beat Scott Speed. We've got Harry Castro Nevis as well. As, oh, is Scott Speed the... Oh, Scott Speed's been the Eldora ringer. What the hell? That's pretty damn weird. As there you go. Second race starting in last. All right, let's see how it goes. Remember, the results of this second heat 
They set the starting line up for the main event. Oh. We're going to be starting last at the moment. Get off the wall. But that's one thing I hate in this. Your car actually gets sucked to the wall. Like, you get sucked into the wall, it feels like. It's not like Forza wall riding, where your car is just almost like tapping the wall. It's like using it just to turn. Like, your car gets sucked into the wall. I guess it's an anti-cheat thing, especially for, like, multiplayer. But, yeah, when it's single player like this, it's just bloody annoying. We have closed up to the field. Getting up to... 7th, or 10th, 9th. Where else did we pass? Oh, TK. Hunter Jr. with ET. Uh, let's see who we've got ahead of us. We've got Speed starting directly ahead of us. Let's see, got Tony Stewart and our firing line and Bobby the Bonte. Yeah, I talked about SRX like in real life, but the game, SRX the game, Pretty fun. Pretty good. Like, I've had really good fun recording this. But so it seems a bit of a shame that in career mode, like, this reverts to real life. So you can't choose, like, sc custom schedules, even though you've got, like, loads of tracks to choose from. That would have been really cool. You don't have to do any upgrades or repairs. So like, you're basically just earning money at this series. You're not spending any. Which for a series, which for career mode based around basically upgrading and kind of earning money and spending money, like it was a bit weird, I will say, compared to the rest of career mode. But I'm liking it. I'm liking driving these cars around it. I'm liking the SRX cars in there. They're very planted, even on this dirt stuff. Like on the tarmac ovals, they're. Very grippy, and then on the dirt as well. Like, as you can see, I'm barely getting sideways in this thing. At least it feels like I'm barely getting sideways. But yeah, I barely have to lift. When you saw it in real life, they were doing like two lanes. Like there was cars going down low, cars going up high. It's really only one lane in this game, unfortunately, Eldora. I'll move on to a criticism then, now that we've praised how fun and how I like career mode better tracks not as not the best examples I've seen of them like I said up with Stafford like in I racing that's pretty damn good but in this it's not that great same for Eldora as well like being a one lane town in I racing it can be like that as well like with the sprint cars I've raced around Eldora you're mostly on the high line but you can still dive to the inside and make passes. You can't really do that in this. Apart from if you're an opponent. As you can see, Hayo's trying to do that on us. Not letting him. That's something that really got up, got to us in the... I think it was like the late models in particular. Sprint 305s. Oh, they, had just, they just had extra grip on the inside. Then accelerating off the corners. They so couldn't really like fight them. And I wouldn't like, wouldn't mind third here. We might let Hayo hey, by. There we go. Oh, do we? Oh, dives it back. So you can't do those moves normally in the other series, but you can, you can do it in this. Like you can't do them as successfully as with the SRX because, as I said, they just have demon grip and traction off the corners. That's one of penultimate lap. Can't see who's ahead of us. It's like the Bonte is. Hello, hey yo. Getting very fiery. The four time Indy 500 champ now. Well, oh, he's going to try and become the first five time champ next season. As uh, so he cut him off. I mean, we're just catching up to first as well. As it was T, is Tony shirt the track owner of course wins. And hey, oh, Scott Speed, Bill A with a good top five. Oh, TK in last. They don't like TK or Marco, do they, in this? But ET near the back as well. Then, yeah, Paul Tracy, Only Francis Jr., Bobby the Bonte, and Michael Chop in the midfield. A wall trip, should I say. Let's see, go, main event time. 
25 laps to try and unseat the track owner. Oh, God. That is not how you do it. We're trying to cut the corner way too much. Uh, so it's now... What's it? Scott Speed. The Bonte. Hey, oh, bye. It's so really sick. Oh, get off the wall. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. God's sake. But yeah, that's bloody annoying in single player. I can understand for multiplayer, but for single player, when I'm just gradually tapping the wall like that, and then you're just sucked in. Bit annoying. Uh, as we get back up to seventh. Just like they're battling for the lead as well, is Hey Yo and Tony Stewart. A little smoke. Uh, as you get up to sit. Doesn't look like I have Haley Deegan in this. As you can see, Tony Colon's still racing. I'm pretty sure this is when Deegan made her first appearance as well. In SRX. Well, they're getting very sideways in front. The speed and is that the Bonte in front? If you don't mind, we're going to dive down to the inside. 20 laps to go. Getting back up to fourth already. Against the Eldora, Eldora ringer, Scott Speed. He did race round here in real life. He replaced, was it Greg Biffle? But it was a bit weird seeing him as the ringer and not. I think it was Cody Swanson who did this race. He was battling Tony Stewart for the win as well. I think he came off second best, if I remember right. But yeah, oh yeah, talking about the game as well. Graphics. Okay. So I can understand it's a small team. Graphics as well, not a big part. Big thing in racing games, I would say. In general. Probably if you have like a triple A title like the Cody's games. For example, then, you, then you've got to make it as shiny as possible. But... I don't really care about graphics in racing games as long as it plays well. Like, as long as I have fun with the game, that's all, that's all that matters for me. I don't really care about graphics or any of that. And another thing in the wing column, yeah, it has been good fun driving all the cars. Like, Sprint Throw 5 definitely the hardest, I found. But Stadium Truck. Even though they're not really stadium trucks. I said they're more off-road trucks than stadium. I don't know why they've called them stadium trucks. They're like the only license agreement they could get or something. There's no Lucas Oil off-road racing series now. I don't know what it's called now. But you don't have that anymore. I guess it was going to be that. But then that folded in the off-season. Maybe they had to call it something else. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty good by variation. There's something a bit different as well, doing that. Putting in some road courses. And then having all the ovals as well. And then the late models have been pretty good fun. They're a bit of a nastier SRX. Oh, really, those late models. Like, you only got two gears. They slide a bit more. More tricky to accelerate with as well. They're just not as grippy. And I wouldn't say this game is like a sim at all. Like I'm doing well at it, so that indicates it's definitely not a sim. I would say, <laughs> but it's just good fun. It is just nice to drive. It's again, it's probably one of those titles in between sim and arcade, and we're leaning more towards the casual crowd of arcade and. Oh, so strangely for a series, is the game that came out before the series even debuted. This came out at the end of May and the series debuted, what, a couple of weeks after it. As we're catching up to Tony Stewart, I don't know who the leader is, but they've pulled away massively. As we're getting all up into Tony Stewart's business. Oh, until then. That does not really damage the car. Oh, he's still got six laps, it. 
It's taught us to take the very tight line, though, hasn't it? Just like the start. But, yeah, it's just really good fun to drive these, like... But so the cars... I don't really mess with the setup. I don't know how they feel with, like, different setups and all that. It's all... Get... Get blocked, Stuart. Oh, God damn it. Let him down the inside, though. Has that, has that allowed us to close up a bit? All that's remaining. Yeah, it, it feels like they're maybe too grippy on the... Just too grippy in general, maybe, the cars. Of the dirt and... Like, these SRX cars especially, like, feel very grippy. And then... Yeah, particularly on the dirt... First on the tarmac ovals. Uh, oh, trying to, trying to get through it. It's like that. So that's Paul Tracy. We dive to the inside of Smoke here. Heading onto the final lap. Yeah, they're just good fun to drive in general cars. That's the main thing. Oh, they found a good balance here amongst the games of... At least for me, like a casual, as we do get past Stuart. And take seconds. Nice. We're never going to win round and door, though, are we? Yeah, good balance between... Maybe a game that's introduction to more... As we've got Heyo winning in ahead of us. Then Stuart, Speed, A with TK Renner at the top. The finishers. As we go, final results from Eldora. First non-victory of the season. That's about the halfway mark. Do get 45 points like Hayo though. So not much gain. Oh my god. How did Tony Ganani get five points? And so didn't know you could score that little. As yeah, we lead the championship by 14 points ever at Hayo. Tony Stewart up there. You can definitely see there's a class of three at the top. Then we got a midfield of Boy Labonte, Bill Ayer, Francis Jr., Waltrip, and a bit of a gap to Ribs, BK, Scott Speed, Paul Tracy. Mark, God, they really do not like Marco, do they? We haven't seen Greg Biff. We didn't see Brian Brown as well, or Cody Swanson, or Bobby Santos the third at the moment. Was sitting a winger, winner. Yeah, very strange having Scott Speed as a ringer here. Yeah, it seems like they found a good balance of appealing to more casual players. I say for this, like me, like I don't mess with setups. So I just get on and drive. And maybe a, a challenge for people with more sim. Minded as well. I don't think it actually is the same as I said, but yeah, with all the setup options as well, like there's lots to treat with, like the standard. Like, it seems like it would appeal to those as well, but yeah, maybe not driving wise, but yeah, definitely with the setups and everything. As uh, heading to the second half of the season, then is Luke all speed which I don't think we've actually driven in this game. Uh, it's got Alexander. Oh, I can't say that name. the Veda. Uh, so yeah, let's go challenge it, shall we? Look at that payout. So here we go then. Green in Lucas Oil win Indiana. As he start in fifth. Not our best qualifying one. We missed out on the sponsor bonus by 700 for a second. And you will find out this seven and tenths of a mile oval. It's faster than these guys. Like, it is virtually flat out. As we get past into second. They are barely like lifting at all. So maybe shows yet yeah, these cars, yeah, maybe too grippy. So I can't imagine there's no catch fence there on the right hand side in real life because was it the Indy Pro 2000 USF 2000 race round here on Carb Day during the month of May? Like they have their kind of oval races round here. I can't imagine the Rotindi would like them to race around here if there's no, like, catch fence on the outside. It's run the legend, Bill Ayer. Yep. NASCAR champion in the mid-80s. One of the most popular drivers of all time as well. I think one of the most popular NASCAR driver for, like, 20-odd years. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, as you... I'm probably here. Yeah, I'm barely lifting. Not really dabbing the brakes at all. Was the banking 
Looks pretty well with that as well. That's all in a combined four seconds. No real gap though. As I said, there's no real slowing down speed. So it's very difficult. Oh my God. To get by us. You know, we do get a bit loose there on the exit of the corner. Do tend to oversteer a bit. If you got on the power too early out of these corners. So right on. Oh, we're giving him a nudge. We're giving the bump and run, are we? As we get into it. For the lead here in the first deep. Oh, that we particularly want to be. Oh, my God. We're going three wide. Oh, saved it. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't mind the AI in this. Like, they do get aggressive at times like that, but not overbearing. It's not like the MotoGP AI, for example. F1 AI can be like sometimes where they just go for a gap that does not really exist. Like there, we got a bit loose. They got more than alongside us. But they're right to, you know, go for the gap there. It's, oh my God. Just like we did to Bill there. That's what that's what they did to us, is that we've come out much better than they did. As here comes Smoke. Gotta give the inside. That's how I wanted to do cut back there, but Bill's got a neck on our inside. Is it getting feisty now? Battling for the win here. In heat one. That's where we thought we got to the front. We had a different idea. Had to dab the brake there, I was a bit too low into the corner. Uh, so, oh my god, we've got two free laps remaining here. But yeah, this is a pretty good course for racing, it turns out then. But yeah, I quite like the AI in this, our opponents. Like, they are pretty good. I said they've got like, a ton of sliders as well if you want to like, adjust them. You know, to tell you the needs, which is really good to see. Like, in the title, as I said, that's not really a sim. Feeling some more, you know, casual market, I would say. The general SRX fan or racing fan, I would say, like, that's pretty damn cool to see as we wanted to the final lap. I don't think we have enough time to catch up, do we? To so finally getting away from the cars behind. And as you've seen, they do kind of tear them off in the SRX. Like, you've got the strong drivers and then... I was like, maybe appear for one race to be stronger than they are normally are as well, which I don't mind. At least mix it up a bit as you've got only Francis Jr. As I said, won it in real life. Here, uh, Scott Speed's still here as well. So that's very strange. Uh, he's, he seems to be coming as the guest driver for the race he did in real life. But we don't have the ringers here. Uh, we did in the first round at... Stafford. As we get going. The, yeah, the only thing sometimes that are a bit so on the on the starts or restarts. So you can get easy places as we totally messed up though and dropped down to last. And as I said that at Eldora, they seem to have super grip in every series apart from this one. Oh, that was pretty good racing Eldora in these cars. Like much better than we had in any of the other series. We got boxed up there, didn't we? Yeah, they're pretty good racing each other. As you can see, they do occasionally get two sideways out of corners and spin. Like we saw at Knoxville. Which looks a bit silly. But in general, apart from that, they're all right. As, oh my God, stop lifting in front. But we need clean air on the inside here. So you stop bashing into folks. I think we're getting now. Uh, this is Marco in front. Getting by him. Either the up to eight back on the out of Oh, it's Labonte. Where's Stuart? Is he in second already? Tony Stewart. Taking the ball by the horns. And yeah, occasionally are too kind. Like they give you the inside when you're not even alongside them sometimes. Going into the corner is like, okay, I'll just take that place anyway. So again, that, that's something you can maybe adjust with the sliders as well. Like I've not adjusted anything. Like this is the default racing experience. And as I said, it is pretty damn good. Uh, let's look at that. Tracy trying to hold it on the outside. And yeah, they do try and race you like on the outside or on the inside. Like you can go side by side for a number of laps as they're trying to do that here. 
I think maybe I've gotten a bit slightly timid, but I think that might be good because otherwise we have loads of cautions. I've already set them a bit more aggressive as there you go. See, so, you know, I made a slight mistake, went to too high. Didn't try to dab the break, get the car to like roll through the corner. And only Francis Jr. just took advantage of me. And now we've got another car trying to take advantage of me. As you try and pull away. Trying to tell here. Come on. Only in fifth as well. But this is definitely our difficulty then when everything's like maxed out then. We're like second hardest difficulty. The difficulty again seemed to be alright. Like I said, we've been mostly on hard. Throughout career. That'd be too easy once we have a car like almost fully upgraded. So expert seems to be our level. As we're discovering in the SRX here. Let's look at that alongside us. No, not backing out. Trying to stay alongside us is Scott Speed. Oh, it gives a little tap. Oh, he spun. Oh, he saved it. Oh, he saved it. He saved it, the Speed. That was a great save. Oh, he spun it around. But yeah, again, that maybe shows that I'm a bit too grippy, maybe. Let's see in these scars. Again, this circuit doesn't look as good as in like I racing, for example. And it's pretty damn good. As they are battling hard in front, heading on to penultimate lap. We're a bit lonely here in fifth, aren't we? We've got a massive gap behind, and then the top four battling among each other. You can see how good they are battling each other, though. Like, they're not. But like, this is not on dirt. On dirt, it may be a bit messier, as I said. Maybe they get two sideways. But on this, look at that. Confident on the outside. Like, they're giving each other space. It's really good, doesn't it? And as I said, Monster Games, this is like a small team that have made these games. Like, they've done a superb job. Uh, it's about to cross the line in fifth. Well, worst result of the season so far, but we'll take that after a testing race there. Look in the middle part where he just lost, a, lost like a couple tenths of pace. And the battle squad's been. Look at really team winning. Get in there. Only sure it was second and Bill Elliott, only Francis Jr. As here we go then, main event time. How many laps is it? 25 is it? Oh, it's about to find out as we get away from fifth year, 25. I love this, like Willie T in the lead. Head of Stewart, head ourselves as well as we get up to third. Find Battle Smoke for seconds. With the slot in behind. Getting the power hard, they're out the corner. Oh, I can't open it up, though. Has he got a halfway alongside Stuart? More than halfway alongside now. As he get into the 14. You can see Willie T there. That's what I mean. Like, they give you the in inside, even though you're not alongside. Go on now. But look at them holding on the outside. The really T train. Here, yeah, so we've got like a top five or six it. Battling hard for victory under the lights in Indiana. And the oval that's a bit overshadowed by the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but it's still just as, just as fun to drive around. It's the cool speedway. As you take the lead away. Let's see if we can hold on then. As you see, we've been a bit messy driving around. We haven't been as confident. Like, as I said, this is a new track for us in this game. And, oh yeah, as we were talking about the game, I, was, I forgot to say about the tracks. Like, a good variety of tracks. I like all the tracks we've driven on, like... I said the real life ones are maybe not as good. But the rest are like fictional, I believe, apart from the SRX tracks. And the fictional tracks have been... Oh, my God. There you go. Stuart took advantage of us. There they absolutely lunged it down the inside of the smoke. Yeah, the, all the other tracks are like fantasy. And they've been great variety. And been pretty fun to drive around. Like, 
Apparently some track, I don't know, I haven't played the previous two games from Monster Games in this Tony Stewart universe. But, yeah, apparently some tracks are different, some classy, car classes as well are missing. It's a bit of a shame, like, I can understand why they streamlined maybe a career for this and had only four classes. And kept the tracks down as well, you know, trying to relate them to those classes, but... But yeah, one thing was the custom calendar. Okay, I love the custom calendar for like Sprint 305 and Stadium trucks. But for this, for SRX, you don't have a custom calendar. For the late models, you just have full calendar then quarter calendar, which is just seven races. Like, I do not understand it. Why isn't there like half or the short tracks, like, as well? And you have like five or six options for like the Sprint 305s and the Stadium trucks. A bit bit annoying. Uh, there's 15 to go. Stuart getting away slightly, aren't they? We're getting away from everyone else though behind. Yeah, Stuart's got a tenth or two on us. Oh my god. So, trying to get the car to ride through the corner and we've gonna lifted too much there. I wonder if that traffic will be a thing, though. I'm not sure it will be. That's halfway through the race. We're not... I don't think we're, like, half a lap ahead of the field. Ahead of last. But yeah, we're going to have to try and find some speed there to catch up to Smoke. Because he's just running away. But yeah, that's a bit annoying with the track selection. I hope you could just do custom selections, custom calendars. That would be cool. But then I could understand in Korea, just choose the tracks you're all good at. Like, I would choose Dynamo and Grove, I think, as my 10 tracks for the season or something. I mean, just race around there. But in general, yeah, the fictional tracks are pretty cool to race around. As third is gaining on us as well. Well, this turn and left business is pretty hard. It's got 10 laps to go. I like that we're not having our own way, you know, now that we turned up the difficulty. Like, we, we've got some battling to do. What we're doing, 19 seconds. What is Stuart doing? 18 eights or something? Because he isn't that much quicker than us. Yeah, I'm doing 19 flats. Let's all hit the wall night. Always the way out that corner because you always delay getting on the throttle then. We'll get on the throttle a bit earlier so you don't get an oversteer on exit by the middle corner, but then you just understeer up into the barrier sometimes. Uh, so yeah, third is on our tail. Yeah, it doesn't look like that traffic will be a thing. Maybe the last car for Stuart, as you can see in front. Six to go. We are clinging on here. Well, oh, that's very wide. So, you know, they had a look, then backed out. See, they read that we were going to cut them off there. That's pretty cool. See. Yeah, in general, this has like been a really fun... Oh, my God, game. Uh, was, oh, my God. Yeah, maybe we cut them off a bit too harshly there. Didn't read that, did they? But they saved the car. They're still in third, I think, behind. But, yeah, I think that's their ambitions for our second place over. Because, yeah, sure, it will get that traffic. No, it won't matter to us, as you can see, we're pretty lonely now. Yeah, in general, really good game. Like, as someone who's never played like, the games for Monster Games, he's not really an oval driver as well. Like, very much a casual racer, I would say. 
in general, really. Like, even though I play some Sims, I don't, I don't like spend hours on setup or analyze my laps to death and try and find an extra tenth or two. I just play what I want to do on the day and just have, try and have fun with it. Do like adjustments that I feel I can that will make a difference and do you need and stuff. But yeah, in general, just hop on and drive. And that's what this game is perfect for, it feels like. If you just want to have, if you've been watching SRX, just want to hop on the game and drive, you can do that definitely. As, as I said, whole career, I've mostly driven with default setups and a couple of laps in practice and then gone into the races or qualifying. So, yeah, it is just, just good fun. As we finish second behind, Stuart, Ernie Francis, Junior Pondon, Scott Speed, Bill A and Fifth Head Ready T. Then Wall Trip, Heyo, the Bonte, PT. Marco not last. It goes to Tony Canon. Here we are then. The results. Second in the end. Couple of second places. As we get 41 points to Stuart's 48. That's a map. As you got Heyo only got 20 points. PK only got five again. What the hell? But yeah, now it's the two-way fight and it's like with two rounds remaining as we're just eight points ahead of Tony Stewart. And then we've got Heyo further 27 points back and a bit of a gap to Bobby Labonte and Bill A at the NASCAR Legends tied for fourth. Instead of Ernie Francis Jr. Then Michael Waltrop in seventh. Willie T in eighth. Five points to Scott Speed and Tony Canon, Paul Tracy and Marco Andretti. So yeah, Marco not like in real life, unfortunately. As yeah, we didn't get our sponsor goal in practice, as I said. Only 12 grand. Uh, so you do get a sponsor goal though for the contract though. As uh, we got our first top five that we need. And we will need it again next time as we will be heading to the singer. The fastest quarter mile oval in the world in Wisconsin. With high banking it is going to be virtually flat out again. It's going to be awesome fun. But as I said, we've got Tony Stewart chasing us down for this SRX crown. Just like he's dominating in real life. As well, I can't remember if he's won the crown or not. I don't think he has. But we has got one hand on it in real life. But yeah, next time, hopefully I'll record this for the Nashville race. Or this will be going up just before the Nashville race. But it's not fortunate. And I will see you all next time.